Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. Now, you guys know, with Whispers of the Old Gods, we were kind of maybe hoping there would be kind of a control thing going on in the standard format, at least. And for a little while, that seemed to be true, as a lot of people were playing Cthune decks, and most of the Cthune decks, especially the obvious ones, the ones that people initially kind of gravitated towards, do have the control playstyle. And there was kind of this artificial meta, as people hadn't really delved into the depths of what's possible with the new cards. But now that people have, and as you guys have learned in one of my recent videos talking about Zulok, it seems like the aggressive decks are still there. They're just in different manifestations, and the manifestation I want to show you guys today might be the most savage of them all. It is the Murloc Divine Shield Paladin. And boy, is this deck insane. It, it works around a couple of cards. The Steward of Darkshire is, is one of the most powerful ones as you're playing the, uh, uh, the new, what is it there? Bilefin Tide Hunter and its old predecessor. So you just spawn a ridiculous amount of, uh, minions with Divine Shield. And, uh, yeah, you have some buffs. You have a lot of Murlocs. Murlocs just generally buff each other. The new Vilefin Inquisitor makes it so your hero power gives you dudes, which are dude Murlocs. And the dude Murlocs can get buffed by all of your other cards. And it's generally absolutely insane. In terms of how well these type of decks do, they do way better than any of the control decks I've made, and I've made some pretty decent control decks. Like, some of my control decks have, like, you know, 70, maybe 80% win rate. That's pretty good. But, like, it, like my, my, my other Zulok deck, which wasn't even polished, is sitting at, like, a 94% win rate. Like, like what is that, right? Uh, and I feel like if I play this deck uh, about as much as that one, it'd probably be about the same. Uh, the opponents just get completely and utterly crushed under the, the power of the Divine Shields and the Murlocs and drawing a whole bunch of cards of Divine Favor. It is absolutely insane. Um, now, I know that over time the control decks get a bit more refined and it makes it so if the aggressive decks really are out of control, then there's like the, the side meta just to counter them. So I, I, I don't think the, the aggro decks will completely take over the world, but they will definitely get pretty far. So far, it seems like the Grim Patron lists do pretty well against the aggressive decks, but we'll have to see how things evolve in the next few weeks. For now, I present you guys the Murloc Armageddon. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, that's pretty good. Nothing scares me, except the mice. So this gets wrecked by Northshire. Is that it? Mergletons, boys. Silver hand Murloc. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can buff the Divine Shield guy to a uh, uh, five attack, so this guy can't really stay alive. He needs a Shadow Word Pain right now. Shadow Word Pain or Bust, boys. Mind if I roll need? Bust it is. Back to your homes. Okay. Wow. Such damage. Oh, they don't get divine shields? Man, I got wrecked here. I got reverse synergy. Oh well, I think we'll be fine this game still. Yeah, it turns out we're okay. Keep rallying blade. Nah, I don't think so. Okay. 
can't believe I played such a cancerous deck. Uh, we're not gonna play too long with this one. Alright, Cthune Warrior. It's quite a tenacious deck. Let's see if it survives the horde. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. I don't think you'd do that if you had a ghoul, so I'm just gonna play into a ghoul. Kinda shitty. No. Okay, I think I lose. Holy shit. You have already lost. You like shields, do you? Back to your home. Is that This guy alive, so eh, I guess I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, I guess it's fine. He needs brawl. Without brawl, he's absolutely, absolutely out of this game. Yeah, that's. I think that's not even close to enough. Why does it let me do that? That's weird. Not in my house. I think he needs Cthun to stay alive. Or the twin taunt dudes. Oh, that might be enough. Do you hear its call? Okay. Look at this minion, dude. Three, six, 
Divine Shield Murloc Tidehunter. Cough, cough, low rank. Well, I was rank 5, and then I got bumped to rank 18, I think, or rank 17. I will fight with honor. And now I'm playing again, so I don't understand why that's low. Actually, I just keep all of that. I probably should have played the Inquisitor so I could play around his... Uh, one mana, two, one. That's pretty popular. Three one drops. Seems pretty unfair. I mean, look at that board. How, how much stats is that? That's three, four, plus two, two. That's five, six worth of stats for three mana. And it grows, and I did a little bit of extra damage. Silver. Okay. It's probably playing the control paladin. Can draw four with that. It's a bit clunky with Murloc Knight. I'm probably not going to get too much better. Kind of shitty. That might be the stopping power he needed. We'll see. Oh. No, never mind. Yeah, I don't want to do the Murloc Tide Hunter right now because of the synergy with the Darkshire. Consecration clears the board here, so. Oh, no Consecration. The end is coming! Mm, I don't have enough damage. There's only one thing to do. My okay. Reporting for duty. None may steal our secrets. Back to your homes. Okay. Do you like to play with fire? Oh, that sucks. Do you like to play with fire? Okay, well, let's hope he doesn't have more board clears. Uh, I picked up a Consecration. Okay. There's only one more board clear possible. He has one Consecration left. The Equalities won't do anything against me. He has no more Pyros. So he has to play big minions or bust, I guess. Okay. Okay. 
Did I miss lethal? No, I didn't. I got it. Okay. I logged on one and a half hours ago. We played on average like six minute games, and we've lost zero games. We haven't lost anything. Right? Pretty sure. Rank 15. It's not even been a day since the ladder reset. Rank 15, I think, is the bump back of rank 3. So let's call it rank 5. This is basically rank 5. It's not true, I am complaining a little bit. This shit is bonkers. I want the flexibility to coin out the war leader. Should I YOLO with Steward of Darkshire? I'm thinking probably not, but I can't see a better play. If he can't kill this, I'm in really, really good shape. Okay, so he's looking for Deadly Poison or Eviscerate. Damn it. Mm, I think I might lose this one. Yeah, I can't get on the board at all. Thank you. Damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's a loss. Okay, maybe not. Oh, he top deck fan knives, I guess. Yep. Yeah, it's a little bit too good for answers for me to be able to actually do anything. Maybe if I get a Divine Favor. Secret to beating this deck is Infinite Removal Rogue. Well, well, he's just been very, very lucky to have all the answers and me going second. I think this is probably the only time I, I want a Rogue to go second. I just want maximum tempo throughout the game. If we pick up a Divine Favor, I think we can still win though. I looked a little bugged. We have he drew his Thalnos from the manufactured Thalnos. Okay. This seems a little bit desperate. Yeah, I think he's playing around Divine Favor with that Conceal play. I will make a Blood of the Ancient One deck after this game. Oh, top deck Auctioneer. Wow, so fucking lucky. Do you have a fan as well now? Well, I mean, this guy was out of cards. He had one card in the coin. He drew Auctioneer, and the coin became another card. Oh, and his last card was Prep. That's pretty important. So he had Prep and Coin, and he drew the Auctioneer. I'd say that's a little bit lucky, okay? Just a little bit. A little bit. So, uh, you know. That's pretty lucky, too. I think I want to stop the draw. Oh, if I win this game, it's it's like solidified. This deck is out of control. Yeah, 
He needs Van Cle oh. Okay, that's pretty bad. I have to top deck a keeper will demand two cards. Rip. Back to your homes. All right. Well played. Apparently, this deck loses to crazy lucky rogue. There you have it, boys. Oh, maybe not. Damn, it healed him. That's pretty fucking lucky. Savagery. Shield block. Lightning storm. What? All of his minions are alive? What? So lucky! What the fuck? Like, the luck didn't stop there. The, the luck continued with the Yogg.